hello everybody welcome back to my channel GP Kasi Tech. so if you are new to my channel please do subscribe let's start the project first of all let's go to the XML file and I'm gonna create some object here one is text view and one is sigma let's go with the text view I'm gonna say text view height and width I'm gonna give the wrap content and then text for the text view I'm not gonna give so I'm gonna give the text size so it is 40 SP now let me give the ID for the text view so I'm gonna say other red plus ID so ID will be TV just for demo purpose now I want this object to be in the center so I'm gonna give in vertical and gravity so I'm gonna give the gravity I want in center so the object is in the sun center but I want in the vertical arrangement so I will say it is orientation and I want in vertically now whatever you arrange it will go downward not the, that horizontal type so let's go to the coding again now I need one sig bar here so I'm gonna say sig bar and then width I'm gonna give 300 dp and then height I'm gonna give wrap content okay, now close it now let's give the id for the sig bar okay, the id I'm gonna say sig bar only okay sig bar id okay now everything done here it's look good also now let's go to the programming part let's go to java here or you can go from here and then this is the one java just after java this is the one java now close it and then let's define the variable over here sig bar and then text view so i'm gonna go with the private and then first I'm gonna say text view text view okay. now next is sigbar so I'm gonna say sigbar sigbar and then the short name I'm gonna say sig underscore bar okay now close it now let's initialize the object here okay now i'm gonna go with the text view so the variable of the text view was tv equal find viva id r dot id dot it is text view it is inside the resources file now let's uh, initialize the sigbar i'm gonna take the variable sigbar equal to find viva id and the id is inside resources r dot id dot and the sigbar id i get sigbar id okay now everything done here now the initializing part has been completed now we have to set the change listener for the sigbar so let's go and take the variable sig underscore bar dot here you remember what uh, listener we have to set for the sigbar so i'm gonna say set okay set on sigbar change listener okay can you see this one now inside the parameter i'm gonna give new okay sigbar new sigbar dot on click listener okay on change listener i mean so new sigbar dot on sigbar change listener so whenever the sigbar change there will be some action so in this sigbar change listener you will get three uh, mode which is the first is on progress change and the next on track king okay now next it is on track stop so whenever the progress or the value in the sigbar is change that value will be uh, set it in somewhere if you want so this three i will explain one by one in so let's go with the progress now we have set the sigbar change listener for the this object sigbar now i want that whenever the user change okay whenever the user start progressing means change the sigbar i want that the numbers to increase so let me define first the number so just go below here just here and then you define the integer first the numbers is integer so i'm going to say integer i and this integer i is actually the zero nothing okay starting point is zero so i want this zero to be increased one by one whenever the progress is changed now let's do here on progress change listener so i want that that zero is actually 
the number okay i'm gonna say this integer or progress just copy and paste here now close it okay on progress change first first it will see this integer starting number is nothing but just the progressing number okay now whenever the user progress whenever the user start right from the starting point like this then i want that the text view will be set up with this number whatever is here one two three four whenever number increase now let's do i'm going to take the variable text view okay dot set text i want set text and inside the set text i have to give the empty text view first because if you will put directly i here your app's gonna crash okay so i'm gonna say first i want empty text give with the plus with i want that number together okay now your apps will not crash now let's run the project and later i will explain this one also okay now let's run the project i'm using nexus 4 api 21 so let's see okay guys the apps has been run completely now what i said i just on progress change whenever the user will start from here tracking onward then the number must be increased here on change progress change and then those number must be set in the text view okay so that's why this is called on progress now let's see what happened when i track when i, I click and i track can you see when i as soon as i move onward the number in the text view also increase if i will move the number in the text view is decrease okay that's why this is called on progress change whenever you will change the progress the number will be set up in the text view okay now this method for that purpose now let's see what is the meaning of this another method mean let's just see in order to show this two method i have to close this one this set text i have to remove because otherwise it will show whenever the tracking you cannot see any effect of this too now just remove this one from here now i keep only i equal to progress okay that one just leave there now i want that whenever this method is called what is the meaning of this method right on start tracking now just set the text view okay dot here also you can say text view and inside i'm going to give open text and then plus with that number okay now let's see let's run the project and see what is the meaning of this on tracking touch the apps has been run okay. now what is on tracking touch mean whenever you will start clicking here directly you will click here or else you will click here if you will click here whatever the value that will be added directly to this on text view let's see if i will click here how much it is can you see it is zero can you now let me click here it is 14 can you see the number is set here whenever you click directly but if you will set only this progress change and if you will click directly like this the text i don't think that it will be added so now let's see if i will track here see it is 42 and it is if i will click here it's 70 if i will click back here it is 8 uh okay the number is adding it is 22 23 now if i will click here it is 33 if i will click here it is 57 if i will click here it is 91 okay now this is the on track whenever you will track your uh, cursor here it will change the value and set in the text view okay now let's see just remove from here and then let's see what is this actually if I will text set here on stop tracking mean whenever the user whenever the user start from here okay let's see okay whenever the user will start from here and start dragging can you see the on progress is not working because I have stopped I have removed from the on progress set text now this is on track stopping touch now whenever the user will move nothing number is set but as soon as if you will stop tracking and if you will leave your finger up see the text is set up in the text view so if I will drag this one again nothing number set if you will leave this then only the number will be set up in the text view that's why this is called on stop tracking touch when you will stop tracking touch the number will be set safe in the text view and if you will start just tracking uh, by shortcut clicking in the middle then the uh, text will be set in the text view but on progress mean whenever you will start right from the starting in the same time the text will be set up in the text
x okay see if i will touch here this is this is method call if i will track this see this method is called on tracking okay on tracking touch because i touch directly and the number is set up so this method is for this purpose okay now if i will say on progress like this then this method comes under this progress why the progressing not happening anything see because i have removed the text view from here so if you want to see the progress i want to remove from here and i'm just going to go here and set here now let's run the app again this will give the live progressing number whenever you will change at the same time the number will be set off in the text view let's see and you see now it is setting the number so only this guys i hope you understand i'm so sorry for the video it's little longer so i hope you understand please subscribe my channel have a nice day